what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um in here you guys one one powerful thing about um i mean most most landing page softwares are the same where you can actually share you know a funnel or share a landing page um and that's mainly a huge huge thing with click funnels as a lot of you guys know about click funnels you can share you know the actual funnel you know so if you build a, a a landing page a thank you page and any other kind of page you can just package it all up if it's if it's all in the same funnel and you can sh share it with someone one huge 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 difference with with kartra is the fact that you can you can pull together all kinds of different things and share it so i can pull together the landing page the thank you page I could put in there um, a form, which is the actual opt-in form. I can put in there the email list, which is in my communications. I can package in there the actual sequence, which is the email autoresponder. I can package in there the calendar, which is the, the calendar, like a, just like your Calendly or just like your schedule once or any type of online calendar that you guys may, may be using. All that is inside of Kartra, and I can package all that up and share it with people. So I could package it all up, provide a share code and send it to anybody. And so what I'm doing right here is I have a handful of funnels um, that are in and I categorize everything. So I'm able to really, you know, keep track of everything. Every single category is a separate, you know, type of funnel or business, I should say in my case. But with this one, shared funnels, I have a handful of funnels that, that I have already packaged. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I simply clone it to create another one. So if I like the way this looks like, for example, I can simply just simply clone it. And I can, rather than having to create a whole new one from scratch, I can just take whatever piece I want and I can just duplicate it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. And that's why I just figured I'd kind of show you what, how, how I do it. So <clears throat> this one right here, this 7-7 seven, seven Plaza Boulevard is tied. That's the landing page. And this is the actual thank you page. And then this is a completely different one. Um, this is the landing page. And then this is the actual thank you page. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then what I can, and then also this one over here, <clears throat> this is the landing page. And then this is the thank you page over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clone, um, I'm actually going to clone this one, the Plaza Boulevard 777. I'm going to clone this one. And all I'm going to do is hit clone. And then what I can do is I can name it something completely different. Um, and then I can also put it in a different category if I wanted to put it in, in a different category, but I'm going to leave it in the same open house and, um, what I'll do is open house, um, one, two, three, <clears throat> division, one, two, three, or right, let's go open house, <clears throat> third, half. Okay, so that way I can just, I'm just naming it whatever, <clears throat> but um, that's what I'll put it under. So open house, third avenue, San Diego. Okay, so I'm going to hit clone. And now I have a whole new page exactly like that previous one, but now it's a completely different page. <clears throat> okay, so when I, when I come in here, I'm going to kind of just show you what I do right away when I come into any page and any, any, any part of the builder. So as you know, I just changed the name of it, but what I also want to do is I'll, the first thing I want to do on every page, every time I come into a new page, the very first thing I want to do is change the actual settings and the settings. That's the, the, the tab up here at the top. So as you see this Karcher tab that right there, any, you know, any page has, has the tab. So I want to change this right here. So remember, because I cloned it, everything about it came over the page title, even the actual pixel. So if I come over here, and I come to tracking code, even the pixel came over because all I did is I, I, I just duplicated it. So first thing I want to do is change this to um, open house. And it was one, or actually it was third Avenue, right? Third Ave, San, third Ave, I'll just leave it third Ave. Okay. And then down here, this image is an image of the property. 
So when someone comes in or when anyone shares it, I should say, when anyone shares it on social media, that image will pop up. And so that's what you want to do for sure on any landing page is make sure that you come into the settings, change the title, and then add an image, okay? Especially if, if, you, if you believe, you know, people are going to share it on social media, even if you're going to share it on social media. That's what you want to do for sure, okay? So this is what I wanted to bring over. Um, get instant access, and I'll change this open house. Actually, let's go. Um, okay, this is what I want right here. <clears throat> and I'm going to go um, open house. And I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go, um, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. On the, actually, let's go with, um, let's see. Um, and then, and then if I mess up, I can hit undo and then it'll bring it back. So I'm going to go with open house Saturday and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, schedule your private, actually, um, let's go with um, click button below to RSV, RSVP. Okay, perfect. Um, and then what I'm going to do um, is I can, I can even duplicate this. So look. And then what I'm going to put here is um, let's go. Um, let's go. Sev let's go. Um, four, four, four. Third Avenue, San Diego. Okay, so I could put that there. I can even move it up a little bit if I need to, but I don't need to move it up that high. So I'll leave it right there. But what I can also do is I can move this up a little bit. So if I hit, if I hit edit right here, let's see which one is it. Let's see if that 20, if I change that 20 to 60. Okay, so that's, not what I wanted, 20. Okay, so let's see if I can change this zero. Okay, so that's not what I wanted either. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, that's fine. And then what I can do is I can change obviously anything right here, I can change the color, I can change the check mark, whatever I wanna do. Um, open house Saturday and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, 444 Third Avenue, San Diego, click button below to RSVP. And then, what I want to do also is I want to um, click on this. So when they click on the button, actually, you know what? Let's go text. Click, click here to RSVP. And then when that pops up, what I can do is I can have a pop-up form. This is the pop-up form. That pops up right there. And then let's see here. Let's change this to this is going to be thank you for your interest in 444 Third Ave. Open house will be from 1 p.m. to 4. 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. So, and then what I can do is that I can change this form. So this is an actual form. And this is this is this is not the form that I want. Remember, I I I cloned it. So the entire funnel came over. So all I want to do is create a new opt-in form. And then this one's going to be open house. 444 Third Ave. 
Okay, so I create a new form. I hit create, and then that's it right there. Hit apply, and then what I want to do is I want to um, actually let's hit this real quick. Okay, actually that form needs to be tied to a thank you page. So we'll go into the form and then we'll tie it to a thank you page. That's what. That's why it the it, you have to complete the form in order for it, the form to, sh to show right here. So I'll show you how to do that. But that part is is good. So let me check the actual button. Let's go and the and once we do complete the form, we'll put um um click here to RSVP. Okay, so now let's go let's hit done and then let's go to let's um actually let's get this a little bigger perfect okay and then what i can do is i can actually i can actually move this up let's go with um it wouldn't be in there it would be it should be it should have been this one over here um hit this edit right here let's go negative bam there we go so you do negative right here you guys negative px so this is the top this is the right this is the bottom this is the left so hit apply and that looks much better so click button below to RSVP. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. See that form, the reason why it didn't, it didn't fully configure is because there's no thank you page tied to the form. So the form is incomplete. And so what we got to do is we got to just complete it real quick. And then let's change this. I can easily um, default this to my actual domain, but that's not the domain that I want it to. So I'm going to leave the Karcher one, the Karcher default, and I'll just put open house. And then I'll save that. And then I can always test it and just copy it and just paste it right there and just open it up. So this is a live shot of a real of, of the real um, page. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to get out of here. And then now I want to, well, I have to, let, let's go to shared funnel. That's the actual category. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to simply, um, in fact, let's also change this, the title. So it's actually 444 Third Avenue. Okay, perfect. Then you got to hit edit and then you got to go back into the builder, but it's all right. We'll just, we'll just exit out. And that's the thing. You want all of your page titles. You want everything to be matching. You want everything to be consistent. You want it to just be on point just so you're not, you don't confuse yourself, you know, with, with all this other, you know, different titles and stuff like that. So try to keep everything um, uniform and, and matching. Okay, so let's get out of here. We can just return a dashboard because we didn't change anything. There was no edit, so I don't need to save anything. So that's that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to shared funnels. And I'm going to, so that's, that's the, so I just, I just cloned the landing page. Now what I want to do is I want to clone the thank you page. So I'm going to simply hit, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to copy that again so I can keep everything matching. I'm going to hit clone. And this one's going to be, thank you. And you can only do so many characters, so I'm going to have to shorten this. Um, and that's fine. I'll just go, thank you. And no one sees that name right there anyways, so that's fine. So hit clone. And then again, so now, now after I, after I, after I finished publishing this page, now it's a live page. Now I have the landing page. Now I have the thank you page. 
And then I can go back into the form, finish configuring the form, make sure that the, the Kartra system knows anyone who fills out this new form, when they click submit, send them to this thank you page. Okay. So thank you for your interest. Um, and then what I always encourage people to do is this is where a video goes. So this is where, in this case, I'm doing this for a real estate agent. So what I'm going to advise him to do is this is a video. So right when that person opts in, they come to this page, they opt in, they RSVP, and then boom, this is a video of you. Hey guys, thank you so much. This is Jonathan with EXP Realty. Just wanted to personally introduce myself and let you know about our open house coming up this Saturday and Sunday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Thank you for RSVPing. If you have any questions right now, you can click the blue button to get me on the phone right now if you have any, any other you know, further questions. But in, until then, I'm going to send you an email with all the details of the open house. Bring whoever you want, and I'll see you there. And so right when they opt in, an email is going to go out right away with, with more details. And that's what Jonathan is going to tell him right here in the video, right? So right here, let's, let's edit this because click here to schedule your private showing. Now they already did, right? They already RSVP'd by simply opting in. So I could put a link right here or I don't have to put a link right there, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to link it to a calendar. So it's already linked to a calendar, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text and I'm going to put click here to, to schedule call now. So just in case that person wants to talk now, click here to schedule call now. Okay. And then the link, we're going to send that to the calendar. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go into settings. Let's change the title or schedule showing. We're going to just put 444 third half. That's fine. And then here, you don't need any, any image on the thank you page because you're not sharing the thank you page on social media, right? So that's only the image for social media sharing. Click here to schedule call now. Thank you for your interest. Perfect. So now let's save this. And then let's publish live. And then I'm going to change the link. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put 444 third Ave. Thank you. And I know that looks kind of, kind of weird, right? That looks super weird, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. Um, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Actually, let's, let's get rid of the 444. So third Ave. Thank you. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, perfect. So we got that. Let's return a dashboard. And then we're now going to go finish the form and that's it. So now let's go into forms. See how it says configuration incomplete. It's incomplete because it doesn't know where to send the person after they fill it out, which is what we're going to tell the system to do now. So, and what I mean by after they fill it out, after they fill out this button right here. So when they click on it, they enter their name and email. Where do we take them after? Right? So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to finish configuring this and then we're going to go back to this page to the builder and finalize this button. Okay. Cause it's not complete yet. And right here I can ask for so much more information if I want, but if you're driving cold traffic to a landing page, the less information, the better. Okay. You only want name and email right here. You don't want name, phone number, address, freaking social security number. You don't want any of that crap. You just want first name, email and keep it that simple, your, your opt-in rate would be, will be much, much higher. Okay. So single opt-in, that's fine. And then the welcome from here, we can send them a welcome message. So let's, um, so here's the success page. So from here, we can send them a welcome message, which is the, which is step three, which we'll get there, but this is what I'm talking about. So here's the thank you page, the success page, the system doesn't know where to take them after, right? We're going to tell them. So Kartra page, and it's going to be no particular site and it's going to be um, 444, let's go to, where's that damn page at? Okay, so, um, 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 broadcast, consulting, um, 
you got to scroll through slow because you'll end up missing it. Um, there we go. So open house. So it's a thank you page. Okay. So open house four, 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 third Ave San Diego. Thank you. Let's hit save, save and next. Now we can send a welcome message. So right here, this is where I can, I can, I can send a welcome email or I can send it in the email sequence, but I can, I, I could for sure do it right here. So make sure that this email is your domain. Okay. Don't use a Gmail or a Yahoo. This has to be your.com, your domain email. Okay. So reply and the send from. So hit save. And then right here is I could put, and what I can always do is also, I, you can get fancy with this email, you guys, if you want. You can go basic text right here, or you can go advanced, and then you can use any of these templates. So there's a, a ton of pre designed templates that I can simply just use and drag over, and I can just drop. And then I can just edit from here. And now it has the blue. Now it has all these different images, image placeholders. I can write something about the property. I can show a bunch of different images right here. And um, I can put my social media links right here. I can edit that and tie it to my link. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually just write with this one. I'll just, I'll just use this one here um, as the template. And then I'll come back to, um, let's go to basic really quick so I can copy that name. Okay, so advanced. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put thank you Jack. Thank you John for your interest. And then again, I can put my logo and I can I can I can delete all this stuff if I want to. Look, I can delete this. I can delete any column. Um I can delete the logo. I can I can delete this this button. There doesn't need to be a button there. Um, so it could be open house, open house, and then I can go, um, Saturday and Sunday, 1 PM to 4 PM. And then I could put some more, 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 you know, details. And then down here I could put some details and I could even put a picture of myself or a picture of the properties, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm going to hit save on this and then save and next. And then I, and then here I can assign tags. I can subscribe to a list. Let's subscribe to a list. Yes. Subscribe to a list. And if you don't have one, we create one and we're going to put, um, open house four, 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 third Ave. And then description. Thank you. Thank you for your interest. And thank you for your interest in 444 Third Ave. Okay, and then I hit create, and now we got a new list, and we can just simply add it right here. Hit save, and then I can subscribe to a sequence, which is my email autoresponder, but I won't do that right there. And then I will use the form in another Karcher asset. Um, no, I will embed. I will embed the form in a third party. No, so just hit save. Save and next, and that's it. So now we'll come back to the pages. And now that that form is complete, in fact, let me show you. So now that the form is complete, so there it is right there. Now we can come back to the pages and tie it to that landing page button. So let's go back to shared funnels and let's go to open house. It's this one right here. And then all the images, you guys, I can totally change out the images. All this stuff is super, super simple. Like um, to edit, to, to, to do any of that, add images, add text, super, super basic and simple. So um, let's just finalize this button here and then we'll test it. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna come down here to this button and we're gonna tie it to that form. Okay, so we're going to link it, and then now we're going to configure this and add that form. So there's the form. Hit apply. Bam, and there we go there, you guys. And then what I'm going to also do is change that button. So the button text, 
um, click here to RSVP. Hit apply, bam. And that is that, you guys. Hit done, hit come over here, save progress. Publish live. And then let's test it. So we'll, we'll return to dashboard. And so what we want to do is let's go, let's go to the list. So we click on my communications. We created the list through the actual form. There's the new list. So active leads zero. Okay. Now let's test it. Let's refresh this page. So what we just created, we just cloned this one from a previous one, click on the button. And then let's go with, um, click here to RSVP. It'll take us straight to the thank you page. And you see up here in the title of the tab, 444 Third Ave, and then there is the actual thank you page. Now, if I come back over here and I refresh this, this zero should turn to number one. Okay, so let's refresh this page. Bam. And then if I click on it, what I can do is I can track everything right here. So I can see what list they're on. I hover over the number one and it shows me what list they're on. I can hover over this. And, and so this is what I want to change as well. So um, this tag is not, that form is not supposed to be tied to that tag. So what I want to do is TSRE finished web class. That's not the right tag. So what I can do is I can click on the name and I can um, delete that tag. So that form, that should have never, that should have never happened. I wonder how that happened. Let's see, let's go to, let's go to my forms and let's, let's do a little troubleshooting really quick. Okay, so save and next. Anyone who fills out this form, This is where you would tag them, if anything. So double opt-in, there's the thank you page. Welcome. Send it. Actually, let's go back. Actually, yeah, you're right. Let's go to, um... okay, so there's no assigned tag. So that was interesting. I wonder how that tag got applied. Um, let's go back to, so if we click on my communications, Click on tag. So it was this category over here. Finish web class. Okay, so that's right, that's right. That's weird, I wonder how that tag got applied. I'll figure that part out, but that should have not happened. But that's how you clone an entire funnel, you guys. Landing page thank you page, the form, the email list. And then what I can also do from here is I can create a share code and I can share that with people. So that's what I do in, as far as this category, category over here, shared funnels. This is what I'll share with a lot of my clients, um, different funnels that I'll, that I'll already create and just simply give it to them. Um, they'll end up setting up a 14 day trial and using the share code. And then, and then right when they import the funnel, it's all theirs and they could take it from there. It'll be in their Karcher account. They can edit, they can, they can change everything if they want and, and just kind of, you know, take it from there. All right guys. So that's how you clone a landing page. That's how you cr uh, clone an actual sales funnel inside of Karcher. I'll see you guys on the next video.